Okay, so I'm going to um, show you how to log in to Amazon AWS's Amazon Polly. So just a quick um, breakdown of how they organize it. So you have Amazon, then you have Amazon AWS, which stands for Amazon Web Services. It's one of those uh, backwards acronyms. And then underneath there, you have the Amazon AI Suite, and underneath the AI Suite, you have Amazon uh, Polly. Um, so for this tutorial, I will show how to um, use Amazon Polly uh, to to convert um, text into uh, speech using Amazon's uh, artificial intelligence suite. And just as a little precursor of why um, you know the difference between this and traditional uh, text to speech, um, it's because with Amazon's uh, Amazon AI. Uh, what they do is th there's a lot of, of contextual, I guess, stuff that they figure out. So, it, for example, if the if the word L I V E, it could be pronounced as live or live, depending on the context. So that determination of context is something that's handled by Amazon AI, as well as um, uh, other things such as popular acronyms. For example, the word S E O. It's a uh, you know you would say S E O versus seal which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense so this is the kind of stuff that uh or the kind of uh linguistic logistics that amazon ai will kind of figure out for you so for this tutorial um first i'm going to uh log in here and we're going to Okay, so once we're in um, in the uh, Amazon AWS console, um, if you don't see Polly over here, which since this is the recently visited services, it probably won't show. So you would type in uh, Polly, and uh, click on Get Started. Okay, cool. So um, what we're going to do is uh, just going to go over here and um, Pick one out. Uh, maybe I'll pick this one, this article. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to to basically get this whole thing transcribed into MP3. So I'm going to paste it in here. And um, you know what? I'm going to also add something a little bit different here. So uh, here's this thing called SSML, uh, which is I guess their uh, markup language for um, the speech uh, I guess speech synthesis markup language but it's basically to kind of uh, help the um, the text to speech recognition uh, to help it along basically um, let me go in here this is the most important um, tag I would say uh, so what I'm going to do is have the first two paragraphs in here I'm going to take this and then I'm going to Put this speak, and this will kind of um, let the uh, uh, I guess let Amazon Polly know that um, all of this is speech. And uh, what I'm also going to put is um, presentation by press release jet, and then I'm going to put like a two second break right over here. And this is basically how you would put a two second break, uh, and then maybe even before that maybe I'll put the uh, the title now bear in mind that the this editor has that has a uh, limit um, so that's why I'm uh, doing two like I I'm going to basically break this down into uh, three different uh, um, uh, okay so at this point you can kind of like uh, you know, click on listen to speech and you can choose between a variety of voices personally I like this one and you can click on listen to speech app press release presentation by press release jet the moment when you release that new app you've been working in the culmination of a lot of hard work oh and one more thing um, after each paragraph I think it's worth a while to put a two second break App press release. Presentation by press release jet.
The moment when you release that new app you've been working in the culmination of a lot of hard work, you've developed it, tested it, and finally it's ready. But how will the public know about your great new app? How can you get there? Okay, I think between paragraphs, you could just be like a one second break. So it's a little bit more fluid. But this is basically the uh, general uh, concept of it. And it, uh, what you can do for longer blocks of text is you can click on download MP3. So um, just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to name this um, part one. And then I'm going to go back here and we're going to copy more of this text. And then I'm going to click on download. And then lastly, and I'm going to delete this. All right, so I'm just going to click on download. And and that's pretty much it. At this point, we can uh, take the audios and kind of just like stitch it together, and then basically it'll be um, a full composite of an article uh, converted to um, to narration without actually having a, a narrator do it. Now, granted that it's not perfect, but compared to many many um, uh, text to speech um services this is by far in a league of its own so i uh, would highly recommend it and if you found this video helpful make sure you subscribe and make sure to like